think that looks good. Jesus Christ. Maybe we'll do a little bloopers, a little behind the scenes thing so you can see my pain. Hello there, everyone. My name is Silver, and welcome to Pokemon Pearl Poggers. Welcome to Pokemon Pearl Poggers. Oh, it rhymes. LA. Anyways, guys, here we are back again doing a Pokemon Nuzlocke. So happy to have you here. Rada, rada, rada. I haven't done a video in so long. I've had a haircut. Ooh, oh, my. So then, everybody, here we are. Another Pokemon Nuzlocke. Now then. Before we go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen, I would just like to apologize for the Pokemon Diamond Nuzlocke. I completely fell off the wagon, and I just stopped recording it, and I am sorry. Um, essentially, what happened with Pokemon Diamond is... I just didn't do the randomizer very well. I had uh, all Pokemon come with four moves, and all four of those moves are random. What was I thinking? Uh, in my mind, I was like, oh, cool, all my Pokemon will have four moves, and they'll have a good move set from the beginning, and it'll be really cool. It also goes for enemy Pokemon as well. So any trainer Pokemon can just come in with their Mon. I have absolutely no idea what their moveset is, and they can whip out something super effective because the AI is smart, and they will always use super effective moves when they can. Very, very dumb idea. Very dumb idea. So I didn't want to continue the playthrough purely because of that reason. My Pokemon were just going to die and it was just not going to be fun for anyone involved. So in any case, here we are and we're starting anew with Pokemon Pearl this time around and it's going to be Puggers. Now then, let's get into it. I have redone the randomizer and we don't have stupid form moves anymore, but we have all the usual stuff. We have Pokemon are random, we have items are random. We have uh, TM and HM compatibility is random, so a Pokemon will be able to learn a move that maybe they won't normally be able to learn, so that's going to be pretty cool. And uh, how's my game audio sounding? I think it's too loud. Poggers, 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 poggers. All right, cool. Yeah, here's a Pokeball. My name is Professor Bitch. It's a Munchlax. That's not random. Blah, 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 blah. Am I a boy or a girl? Um, You know, I think we're going to rock with Dawn this time around. Let's go. I'm pretty sure that's the name of the protagonist in this series. Dawn? Yeah, Dawn and Lucas, isn't it? You know what? Screw it, dude. I'm just going to be Dawn. I am Dawn. We're going canon. We're doing the actual, real canon version this time around. Let's do it. Yes. And your name will be... Little Bitch Boy, because that is his canon name. That is his canon name. We'll call him Lil B. There you go. There you go. Little B, is it? Is that your friend's name? Yes, yes, it is. All right. Blah, 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 blah. That concludes our special report. Search for the Red Gyarados, brought to you by Jubilee Life TV on Nationwide Net. See you next year, next week, next time. Same channel. Next time, next week. Bippity boppity. All right, then. Oh, my mouse is in the recording. Oh, well, that's awkward. Okay. Um, I'm just going to have a quick double check to see if my game capture looks good. Because, as you saw at the beginning with the intro, it is such a pain in the ass to align the game captures and make sure it looks perfect. So I'm going to double check it this time. BRB. Alrighty, okay, I think we're good. Just the just this slightest, tiniest little sliver at the top of the screen, and it triggers me, but that's, yeah, whatever. I think that'll be fine. No, oh, it's my mom. Go away. Ah, Twin Leaf Town. The journey begins again. Alright then, everybody. I know that uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus and also the remakes of Diamond and Pearl, Shining Diamond and Pretty Pearl, or whatever the fudge it's called, both of those are out right now. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I did not play Shining Diamond or Pearl very much at all because it is a literal one-to-one -one remake of this game and it just looks a little bit prettier. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, if you have been enjoying Shining Diamond and Pretty Pearl, then I I respect you. But uh, to be honest, I don't know. I, I was very not interested in it. I would have liked remakes more along the lines of Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, where they actually made it really, really cool and they added lots of new stuff and it was way more interesting. But in any case, um, yes, at the end of the day, it is a one-to-one -one remake and it just looks a little bit better. So I don't know. Maybe I'll get around to playing it sometime. 
But here, with the emulators, I can randomize things and make it a lot more interesting. So bippity boppity. Uh, Legends Arceus actually does look really, really cool, but unfortunately, my parents would like to buy it for my birthday because I'm still a little baby boy in their eyes and I need to wait for my Pokemon game. Sag. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it, it's kind of like, do you, do you guys celebrate your birthdays? Like, do your, do, your fair, do your folks and do your friends take it super seriously? Because my folks, they always like to get me actual presents and that sort of thing, so... Ah, uh, I feel the love, but yeah, so they can't think of anything else to actually get me for my birthday, so it's gonna be Pokemon Arceus. So unfortunately, I have to wait until the 14th until I can play Legends Arceus. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, we're just gonna skip this shit. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna be completely real with y'all. Uh, even though this is a randomizer and I know that it all works, I had to go in and double check and I had to see if the randomizer was working, even though it's a program that is infallible and it works all the time. But I had to double check and I had to see what my Pokemon were randomized to. So, we have Dunsparth. We have goddamn Dunsparce, one of the most sad and pathetic and boring Pokemon in existence. We have Celio, which has a glorious mustache and is Chad, big alpha Chad energy. And we have Nincada, a sad little weavile bug thing that likes to burrow in wood and eat worms and live amongst the dirt. So I think it is quite clear what we're going to pick my dudes. We're going to go with Celio. I think that's probably the best choice. Uh, to be honest, Nincada would not be a terrible choice because Nincada evolves into Shedinja, if I'm not mistaken. And then Shedinja, I don't know. Yeah, Shedinja, is that what it's called? Yeah, that really fast bug guy. And then also it could evolve into freaking, um, what should I call it? Nin no, Shedinja and Ninjask. Yeah, Shedinja is the one, the ghost one, isn't it? So Shedinja would be kind of insane because then I have one HP, but then I have Wonder Guard. But Ninjask would be very fast. You know what? Maybe Nincata is kind of a cool pick, actually. Hmm. Mm 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 mm. Oh, damn. Eh. I think all around the safer bet's probably Celio. Mm. Yeah, I'm going Celio. Okay. All right, then, everybody, and in this playthrough, I'm going to make the solemn vow right here and now. I am not going to use the speed up button at all during combat. God damn it. No speed up button. No speed up button at all. I don't care if I'm grinding the most lowly little enemies in a patch of grass that are 10 levels below me. I'm not using the speed up button in combat at all. I'm sick of bad things happening when I use the speed up button. So then, if that annoys you, and the idea of watching me grind through battles is annoying, I apologize, but it has to happen. God knows it's going to annoy me because everything just go in. Just, uh, the speed up button is just good. It makes everything go so fast. <laughs> Whatever. Die, Starly. Wow, your Pokemon totally rocked! Yeah, I would say that my Celio did a ice job there. It was rather icely done. He's got a pretty poggers move set right out of the gate. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, what? Did you guys use the Pokemon? Oh, man, what am I gonna tell the professor? He's gonna beat me. Oh, Jesus. Well, that got very dark. Okay, whatever. Blah 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 Hold on a second. Nice. Uh, how do I turn on my running shoes? Key item bag. You would think... Aha. Wait. I had it. V. C. F. X. Z. Shift. Caps lock. Um. Whoop. Okay, it's Z. It's Z, everybody. Eulamau, it's Z. Okay, cool. Let us continue our wait before we continue. Always save your game, my dudes. 
Bruh. Save. Yes. Saved to slot one. Very poggers. I need to remember to take my mass out of the freaking window capture. Oh my god. Ooh, another ice type. Okay. Uh, so we, of course, do not have our Pokeballs yet, so the Nuzlocke has not started. So, very poggers. Wait, did Mother give me Pokeballs? No, I'm pretty sure she didn't. I'm pretty sure she didn't. Okay, I'm going to try not to get too many spoilers in this grass because we want to... We want to have the excitement for when I'm able to catch things. But I am going to kill this Sneasel anyways. That looks like it's going to be a pretty good encounter because all it's using is Leer. Nasu. So I just had my phone on charge just now, I just um, because, you know, it was slowly dying. But um, my phone was on 20% battery. I had it on charge for maybe 10 minutes, and now it's at 90% battery. Can we talk about, like, all these phone companies are just like, Warp Charge, the fastest charging battery ever. It's just like, bro, can you give me a battery that has a longer shelf life and doesn't get juiced up in five minutes with tons and tons of electricity? Like, can I get a battery that lasts longer as opposed to getting crammed full of electricity in five seconds? Like, seriously, bro. I mean, I suppose having a fast charging battery is good, but if I could have a battery that lasts longer as opposed to charges in three seconds, I think that'd be better. Uh, let me know your comments in the comment section down below. Tell me about phone batteries and how I'm a big dum-dum. Uh, whatever. B-barrel! I'm not sure if I want a B-barrel in my team, but... Mm, well, Boo Barrel is a big chunky boy. He's a big chunky normal type boy. Hmm. I'm just getting encounters after encounters. I, I don't want spoilers, bro. I just want to continue on my merry way. God damn it. Damn, boy. It was a thick boy. Jesus, that fight took a while. Oh, I'm the speed up button. Oh, it's so tempting. Oh, it's so tempting. See, this is our bug. A lot of research lab. We'll just go ahead and thud. Will you stop bumping into me, bro? Like, what's your deal? Guy's got ADHD on and he's on crack. I don't even know. That, that boy ain't right. Something wrong with that boy. Professor, finally you've come. Don was it. Let me see your Pokemon again. Very well, you've made your Pokemon evolve already. Alrighty then, I'll give you that Celio as a gift. Can you imagine if you actually made your Pokemon evolve in the five seconds it took you to get here? I will call you, I'll call you Freezy Jane. It's not going to fit. Freezy, ahaha, ahaha, get it? That's not how you spell easy, but Zs are cool. If you have Zs and Vs and Xs, those are all very cool letters. When naming a Pokemon when I was 14, let me tell you, Zs and Vs and Xs, my dude. Zivin and uh, Varian and um, I, I'm, I'm failing to think of cool nicknames right now, but Z's and X's, maybe maybe V's, maybe V's, but mainly Z's and X's. Xenon, oh yeah, now that's a cool name, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, brother. All right, I don't care, old man. Go now on your grand adventure, even though someone completed it 200 years ago for in the history region. Uh, I, I threw the old Pokedex in the bin because we don't need that old timey knowledge. We need a new Pokedex that's on digital format. Pete and pen and paper? What is this bullshit? Get it out of here. Okay, so. Pretty sure I still don't have any Pokeballs. But we can remedy the situation. I'm gonna save my game. What happens if I. Don't catch anything. My first encounter, I don't want to relive it again. I don't want to fail my first encounter yet again. Welcome, what do you need? I'm pretty sure someone gives me Pokeballs at some point, but whatever. Alright, the Nuzlocke beginneth. Let's go, gamers. You'll also get a Premier Ball as a bonus. The Nuzlocke beginneth, my dudes. Let's go. All right, let's get our first encounter. 
Oh, okay, all right. That's a bee drill, which is something that we hadn't seen. That's very exciting. Uh, powdered snow is 100% gonna kill it, so let's go with a water gun. I didn't go to the Pokemon Center and heal Freezy. Awkward. Okay, very good, very good. Very good, Ah, you missed, LMAO. Don't you crit, don't you dare freaking crit. I will murder you, Freezy. Don't crit, thank you. All right. Imagine missing your fury attack again. That would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? Okay, like, whatever. Okay, I, I hit I hit the speed up button, I'm sorry, but fury attack, come on now. He could have hit me five times and that would have taken half an hour. Literally half an hour, bro. Unplayable. Mmm, Beedrill. Okay, alright. Okay, wow, he's got really bad accuracy. He's got that bad luck Beedrill. Bad luck Beedrill with missing two of his attacks. What's the accuracy on Fury, whatever he was using? I don't know. Woo! I didn't fail my first encounter like a frickin' pleb. Let's go. Beedrill, welcome to the team. Its best attack involves flying around at high speed, striking with poison needles, then flying off. Can you imagine if Beedrills were real, bro? Like a giant frickin' bee with massive stingers on the end of its hands? Like, God, no. God, no. I'm gonna call you bees. Bees. I know what'll remedy this situation. Additional bees. More bees. If you get that reference, you, you, you a real one. You a real one. Hello, Malcolm the Pokemon Center. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, son of a... Damn it, did I randomize abilities? Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't see an option for that when I was in the randomized menu, I'm gonna be honest. Do, do abilities just get random... Okay, it looks like abilities just get randomized out of the gate. Cool. So, Freezy has immunity. I'm immune to poison. And he is immune to his stats being lowered. Well, that's pretty sweet. Fury attack. Ooh, my boy, my dude. Ooh, that's pretty rough. Um, well, bees is gonna take a lot of effort to train, but we are going to try anyways. Jesus Christ, can I sort out my life here? Okay, it's X. X is A and Z is B. Good sweet lord. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Feeling, having a rush off his uh, high off the first encounter completed, our protagonist continues onwards, twirling towards victory. Are you for real, bro? I just find a lucky egg like that. Oh, this is this is the playthrough, everybody. This is this is this is the playthrough. It's happening. It is happening, my dudes. I got my first encounter, and I got a lucky freaking egg right out of the gate. Let's go, dude. This is this is it. This is the run. This is the run. Oh my goodness gracious me. That's really good. Wow. So he's gonna get freaking mega XP up the butt. Hell yeah. I should be running, shouldn't I? Uh, I'm gonna kill a couple things real quick. See what kind of mad XP I get. Diglett. Diglett. I'm sorry, bees, but I don't trust you. I just straight up don't believe that you can fight anything right now. I'm sorry. Yo, there's Krogunk in this grass too. That's really cool. I mean, Krogunk's a pretty badass mod. That would have been pretty neat. Better poison type than a freaking bee drill, to be honest, but... Oh, well. You gonna astonish me, bro? You gonna do me like that? Really? Die. Out of snow. Ooh. Is that gonna one shot? Oh, for God's sake. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm using this video button. I'm sorry, 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 I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm out of here. Looks like I've lied to you all. It took me all of five minutes to break my promise. Okay, but let's be real. It was a Krogunk, and my attack was guaranteed gonna kill it. 
please you have to you have to understand it's just it's so convenient and it's so much faster and i hate bullshitting around hmm <clears throat> Alrighty, I killed about four or five Pokemon, and I got bees up one level. I think that'll about do it. Let's get another encounter. Hey, stupid, do you know how to catch a Pokemon? Oh my god, let me show you. Wait, what? what? What are you saying to me, Lucas? Why don't you go tell the professor and your family? Okay, yeah. You're leaving home on a grand adventure, and you probably won't be back for months and months and months and months. You should probably go tell your mom. You, you're, you're not my... You know, I don't take advice from a friggin' dummy, Lucas. Who do you think you are? Jesus Christ. Hey, Mom. I'm leaving on an adventure. Don't know when I'll be back. Brother. Wow, Professor Roan asked you to do something that big? Uh, yeah. Osenaka Umamaru. Bye, Oka-sama. Konbanwa Oyasumi. Whatever, dude. Alrighty, now that I've told my mother that I'm leaving for an indefinite amount of time, I'm going to go get the Pokemon tutorial. Do you know how to catch Pokemon, stupid? I'm pretty sure you don't, so I'm gonna show you because you're stupid. He's got a Chimchar, does he? What are the chances that his Pokemon got randomized to an actual Sinnoh starter? Wow, that's pretty nutty. Hmm, interesting. Alrighty, my dudes, Route 202, our second encounter is... I'm gonna guess it. I'm gonna guess what it is. Oh, Jesus. Wow. That's at least a Gen 4 Pokemon. Oh, Skaroopy. Okay. Another Buggo. Another Poison Buggo, if I'm not mistaken. No, Skaroopy is ground type, isn't he? Oh, bees. Oh, dear, dear bees. It's gonna be... It's gonna take a while to get my boy to be any kind of useful. Oh, dear. Hmm. <laughs> well, at least I can be sure that he's not going to kill whatever we fight. That's at least a plus side. Uh, okay, let's hit him with a Pokeball. Because if I hit him another four times, he might actually die. That's the problem with Fury, Fury Attack, those multi-hit moves. Let's go, dude! I'm actually getting my encounters! I'm a gamer! Woo! Imagine failing your first few encounters. Imagine being so bad at Pokemon games. <laughs> I'm a new man. Couldn't be me. Skorupi! Is at this point, everybody, then I should tell you if you would like to be named after a Pokemon, or if you would like to give me any sort of nicknames, please let me know in the comment section down below. I would appreciate uh, your lovely comments and your Pokemon names, so please, please give them to me. I'm gonna call you Score Poopy because I'm hilarious. <laughs> Couldn't call it that if this was the latest generation games where you're freaking censored and you can't name your Pokemon anything funny. God, dude. They would probably censor out Score Poopy. I feel like they would. You, you freaking nerds. My god. All right, then, everybody, we're off to a blazing start. I've got my first two encounters. I got a lucky egg for my Beedrill. I'm feeling frisky. I'm feeling ready to go. Let's get it. We have Bite and Poison Sting, and we have Tangled Feet. Raises evasion if the Pokemon is confused. Not terrible, but also not good. Not terrible, but not good. All right, then. Very exciting. Very exciting, everybody. Thank you for watching this first episode of the Pokemon... Pearl or Randomizer Nuzlocke. Uh, just before we end the episode, shout out to my Pokemon Sensei, who helped me originally get into Pokemon emulators and randomizers and Nuzlocke. You know, you know who you are. Thank you very much. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here today. So if you're watching this video, we appreciate you. And um, yeah, thank you all very much for watching. And I hope you will support this series as we move into the future. And I will see you in the next episode, my dudes. Bye.